This is a Fox News alert. No amount of federal taxpayer dollars will help a city that refuses to help its own residents. That from the Attorney General in a statement released just moments ago. Jeff Sessions firing back at the city of Chicago over a lawsuit the city filed concerning its sanctuary city policy. The Department of Justice statement just out quotes Sessions saying, This administration will not simply give away grant dollars to city governments that proudly violate the rule of law and protect criminal aliens at the expense of public safety. So it's this simple comply with the law or forgo taxpayer dollars. The Trump administration's policy on sanctuary cities is stirring resistance from San Francisco to Boston. But the Windy City's filing is get the, getting the Attorney General's focus tonight as he references Chicago's unprecedented crime surge and murder rate. Sessions adds, quote, the city's leaders cannot follow some laws and ignore others and reasonably expect this horrific situation to improve. Correspondent Claudia Cowan has our top story. Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel said it's illegal for the federal government to withhold public safety grants from sanctuary cities like his, where local police refuse to cooperate with immigration agents. Chicago will not let our police officers become political pawns. The Chicago lawsuit follows similar legal action in Massachusetts, Washington, Oregon, and California, where cities say they're being harmed by the threat of losing funds because they can't plan their budgets. Chicago says it stands to lose $3.2 million by the potential federal action. In San Francisco, it's closer to hundreds of thousands of dollars, money that's attached to a promise to cooperate with federal immigration authorities, which sanctuary cities refuse to do. In fact, San Francisco is reaffirming its sanctuary policy by paying this illegal immigrant $190,000. ¿Por qué fui una de esas personas, una de esas víctimas? Why was I victimized? Why did I become a victim to all this? 33-year-old Pedro Figueroa, a Salvadoran who's been living in San Francisco for 10 years, sued after police turned him over to immigration agents, violating its own sanctuary city policy. We do work with the federal government agencies on criminal activity, gang activity, human trafficking, and that type of thing. If that evolves into an immigration type of enforcement, our policy is clear. We stop it right there. Uh, notifications have to be made, and we're not in the business of doing immigration enforcement. While city leaders have publicly apologized, the head of San Francisco's Republican Party says the six-figure settlement is ridiculous. I think it's a shameful waste of taxpayer dollars. Uh, here you have someone being offered a settlement that no jury would have awarded him. Critics worry the threat of more lawsuits and big payouts will put an extra burden on law enforcement and disagree with city leaders who contend sanctuary policies help police fight crime. One reason sanctuary cities are doubling down now, the federal grants at stake here are set to expire in October, and before they reapply for those millions, they want the courts and public opinion on their side. Brett. Claudia, thank you.